Hi, this is Ronnie Isaiah, and this is how my siloed site topped Google's search engine ranking pages. Even with my mediocre internet marketing skills, and though I was using only one search engine, that's one SEO tool from the many at my disposal, my internet audience may wonder how in the world I was able to dominate the Google top ranking for my primary theme, Florida Kosher Tours. It's Florida Kosher Tours, I do a Google search and there's my site on the first and second listing competing for the keyword was 1.8 million sites as we can see here today it's 1.93 1.93 million sites yet it was easy to conquer I simply used the SEO optimization tool thematic with its silo site publishing software and let the program automatically perfect my LSA optimization and theme density for all the content on my site. Best thing of all, I did the whole thing in just three days. Here's a movie on my hub page. You can get there, hubpages.com, SEO tool for Cabal of Google, and you'll find the movie there. Google gave flkoshertours.com top ranking automatically. Everyone asks around, always wanting to know, how do I get my own site to the top of Google search results? Many, many technologies have been introduced over the past 10 years that have been somewhat successful, yet short-lived, due to the way Google changes their ranking criteria. Besides systems that sometimes work, a plethora of fake systems have been introduced and reintroduced with a new name and marketing scheme. Ring true, P.T. Barnum saying there's a sucker born every minute. Recently, Google purchased a company called Applied Semantics, a company that produced software that was able to organize many different types of content over every imaginable theme and compare them in relation to each other. This relationship between keywords is called theme relevance. The main benefit of this new filter would give the searcher a better match of results in accordance with what was being searched. Better results is good and exactly what Google spends half of their expenses on. Another major benefit from incorporating this new technology into the search results was that it made it very easy for Google to second guess what a visitor was looking for. As the searcher entered additional keywords for results, Google's new artificial intelligence would become more familiar with the searcher and what was being sought after. As it turns out, latent semantic indexing is here to stay. The fact is, this type of filter hurt internet marketers and spam sites across the board. What Google was attempting and what they achieved was to change the ranking results from site optimized to visitor enhanced. A site that was ultimately enhanced for the visitor would provide less marketing and more content directly related to the keyword being searched. No more would a Google search lead someone to a marketing spam nightmare. No longer would unrelated sites dominate the rankings. Needless to say, Google search service improved by leaps and bounds. Google was sandboxing left and right. Everyone was trying to make heads or tails out of the new latent semantic indexing. Many sites saw their ranking drop through the floor. Then something very interesting occurred. Charles Heflin came up with a system for grouping content into very tight-knit themes. This caused the theme relevance of the content to increase. By making the subject matter very narrow, the overall theme relevance would remain discrete. Calling those groups silos, Heflin coined his system the master plan. It was simple in overview. All that one had to do with their website was to focus the content on one theme with basic LSI principles. The master plan showed Google in a brave new way how critical theme relevance would launch any website to the top easily dominating the SERPs. That's search engine ranking pages. If any site could poise itself on top of Google's ranking, that was stopping every web what was stopping every webmaster from com from competing. The gist of it is that marketers were not able to sling around content easily. They were not authors of content and could not muster the themed content that the search engines could index with more relevance than other content from any other competing site. Sometimes retraining an old dog to do a new trick is harder than starting from scratch. All a webmaster really needs to do is research a theme from top to bottom and then author quality articles. Those articles would need to be enhanced for proper theme density and no market convergences. Manually, this process became clumsy at best, extremely time-consuming and confusing for the best writers, to say the least. That is until the invention of thematic, silo site publishing software that virtually automates the process. Top ranking happened literally overnight. As more an author and less a technologist working for an SEO company, I did not want to veer from my area of expertise, so I settled on the primary keyword Florida Kosher Tours. Competing for the key keyword was just 1.5 million websites, which the thematic boot camp described as a competition number 
that is good as a moderate target for a novice to dominate. It's uh, good for me as a start. Instead of spending months researching SEO services for the entire market for the best and most theme-related keywords, I opted for a keyword densities research tool, which came highly recommended for SEO marketing. The amount of time that I needed to spend was dramatically reduced to under two days, and the research was easily and seamlessly transferred with full search engine optimization to thematic with the press of a button. Once I started working with thematic, the easy to follow website optimization tab process was a snap, and the article writing software was fluid. I didn't have to think much about theme density since all the related keywords were right on the side of the text box, and the SEO software made it easy for me to import a keyword with one click. Not only that, but once imported, the software tracked how many times I used the keyword and what the overall density of the article was in simple percentages. There was no need to set up links between the pages due to the internal link popularity functions under the Links tab. When a keyword was used more times than needed, I would right away see the red flag statistic and easily choose the best synonym to change the keyword, making the sentence right and the theme density better. The articles were done quickly, since I'm a fast writer, and Thematic's SEO optimization is automated. In fact, they took ab only about 25 minutes apiece for a 500-word page. Then it was a matter of a one-click command, and the Thematic published the entire site, stopping only to ask me if it was okay to continue from one page to the next. The 13 articles and all other aspects of publishing the site were created and uploaded in one eight-hour day. After the weekend, I was able to use the same keyword research tool to track my site in the rankings and within a week had dominated not only my main keyword but managed to land on the first page for dozens of other keywords in the search engine rankings. Take a look at some of the keywords I rank for. Here's a partial list of keywords that bring my website up onto the top 20 spots in the ranking results. I've included the exact spot where my site ranks on each search. Please keep in mind that the list fluctuates from time to time. However, those changes are, for the most part, positive, as my site continues to dominate the primary keyword, Florida Kosher Tours. We'll just copy some of these other Miami Kosher Tours. Copy that, put that in Google, and do a little search here. And we'll see that I come up first and second for that. Let's go back and try Orlando Kosher Tours. By the way, Miami Kosher Tours is uh, also a very competitive keyword. Orlando Kosher Tours. We'll Google that. I'm sitting one and two on that. That's also 1,130,000 competing sites. We'll try a couple more. Orlando Kosher Travel Packages. It's a pretty big market because of Disney World and Universal Studios. And we Google that term. Somebody took the top spot away from me, DMOZ, but I'm sitting there at number two and three. I'll have to have to do something about that. <laughs> Map of Jewish Tours Orlando, Kosher Lamb Miami. Some of these other ones, some of these other hot Florida Kosher Pizza, something that's Googled quite a lot by those seeking Kosher Pizza in Florida. And I should be sitting number three there. I'm two and three. I moved up there. Florida Kosher Travel, also a nice site, a nice uh, keyword to dominate. I'm sitting there, should be sitting number three. Okay, oops, wrong button. Florida Kosher Travel, and there I am, number three and number four. So, take a look at the site. This is Ronnie Isaiah author of Kabbalah, Kabbalah of Google, also presenting the Florida Kosher Tour site. Thank you very much. We'll be back with another video on how to optimize articles for theme density. Bye now.